Hello and welcome back to the Little Scale Cars YouTube channel. Today in the review box, we have the Chevy Corvair Yanko Stinger from Jay Leno's Garage Car Culture Set. We're going to be reviewing three of the five that were in the set, and this is going to be the first one. So let's take a dive into it and see if it's worth adding into your collection. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the casting itself. Our proportions seem pretty good just at first glance. I will say I think this whole back section here is perhaps a little bit too long. We'll compare it to the real life car here. And then other than that, it is pretty typical with Hot Wheels muscle cars like this. It's been slammed ever so slightly. Neither of these two things are particularly distracting, but they are eh, a touch inaccurate, I guess is how I would say that. But moving into the actual casted bits themselves, we have this kind of vents up front are in there. We actually have our windshield wipers casted in there. We've got whatever these things are in the back. I don't know a whole lot about this car, so someone in the comments below can let me know what the purpose of these two raised things were. And then we also have this section is cast in as well. In addition to that, we have door handles, our door lines. We have whatever this is up front. Up front here. Looks good. And in the back, looks good. So for our paint and deco, we have this pretty simple white color uh, for the majority of the car. We've got this blue trim around the bottom. And then we also have the blue stripe going down the middle, which as far as I can tell, matches uh, Jay Leno's particular version of this car pretty well. Um, we also should point out that on this side of the car, if you can see ever so slightly, this entire section here has some orange paint, or has some orange peel on the paint, which is not great. This side, it doesn't have it. It's nice and smooth and glossy as you want it to be. This side, we do have some orange peeling which is unfortunate. Hopefully that's just a problem on mine, but uh, typically when a release has that problem, it's pretty widespread across all the examples of that particular release. For our details department, we're gonna start up front and work our way back. So first things first, we have our little Yanko Stinger uh, logo here. We've got our headlights. We've got some fog lights or reflectors or something up here. We actually have this chrome bumper as well which is really cool it's uh it almost it's not a piece of the interior as far as i can tell i think it's just an insert kind of thing which is pretty unique you don't see that a lot on hot wheels models um moving to the side of the car where we'll go we have our door handle on there we have another yanko stinger we even have this silver trim going across the windows uh up here we actually have our windshield wipers as well as being casted on they're actually detailed on as well where they are painted there which looks really good and then moving to the back here we have again another little chrome bumper section we have this little word here which i think says stage two it's a little hard to read we've got our tail lights we have a license plate we even have painted exhaust and this sort of vent thing here and all together for a hot wheels premium model we have a very very high level of detail packed into this thing. As with all Hot Wheels, it rolls and it rolls very smoothly. The real riders make it feel like it's just gliding. It feels really nice. For our pros and cons, we have a couple of pros. Uh, I, one, I think this is a really cool, unique casting choice for Jay Leno's Garage. Um, not something I personally would have picked, but uh, I'm not upset that they picked it because I don't have any Corvairs in my collection until now. Um, I believe this is a brand new casting, so this is the first time we've seen it. So that's another big pro. Um, I think it's a really good deco overall, especially for a first release. And then uh, the last pro that I'm going to say is... I mentioned I don't have any Corvairs up until now, and that is because there's really not a lot of 164th Corvairs done. Um, I'm not sure if Matchbox and Hot Wheels have actually even done one up to this point, but uh, we have one now, and we have a nice one. So, three really good pros. And really, despite the casting not being terribly exciting to me, the only real con I can come up with is that this particular side has that orange peel paint, 
which as you can tell just does not look as nice but i can keep it displayed from this side where we have that nice smooth glossy paint that you would want to see for some size comparisons here we have it next to some other 60s muscle cars with a mustang fastback and a copo camaro And here we have it next to some more modern muscle cars with a Shelby GT500 and a Camaro SS. So it's time to give my final thoughts. Overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Because personally, it's not the most exciting release to me. Um, and that's where I'm going to dock at points, not because there's any kind of error or flaws with it, but just because the hype just wasn't quite there for me. Um, however, with what we got here, it is almost perfect. We have a couple hiccups, perhaps with proportions that are very, very minor. Um, and then we have that orange peel on the paint, which is really could just be mine. I, I feel like it typically isn't when there's orange peeling on the paint, but it very easily could just be mine. However, the amount of detailing that we got, these little chrome bumper additions, I think really, really add up. I love the wheel choice. I forgot to mention that in my details category. But uh, overall, this is really, really nice. I really think you should add it to your collection. Whether you're into muscle cars or not, this is just a unique choice and uh you can't hardly go wrong with it so well that's all i have for this review guys i hope you liked it if you did make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe if you are new and leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this particular model and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching